Hey Spirit Tribe, Gigi here with Spirit Readings and I'm so glad and so happy that you're able to um, join me here today. Um, it has been a little while, not extremely long, but um, I just figured that I would um, take the chance to do a um, spirit board session here. Um, Earlier in the month I did do on all my platforms, you know, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and uh, Instagram, and asked people, you know, to submit a question, and um, I did answer those right away for them. Um, one of the ways um, that uh, messages come through is... You know, I wrote their question down, and then, you know, when I ask Spirit, Spirit's going to say, you know, like, yes, no, and then I start writing, and then it's like the rest of the message just kind of flows uh, through me, and um, I wanted to say thank you so very much to everyone that, you know, asked a question, um, hopefully... You know, it'll pick up a little bit and I'll be able to do it. I'd like to do it once a month, you know, depending on um, questions that, got, that come through. So, uh, Kayla Libby um, asks, should I look for a different job? Thank you. And, you know, Spirit said yes, and the sooner the better. So, um, you know, letting her know, like, you know, it's time to move on. <laughs> And then Tesha Ann said, am I on the right spiritual path? And you know, guys, it's perfectly okay sometimes to, um, you know, doubt or question. You know, I think, I think it's human nature, you know, to um, ask questions because sometimes it doesn't feel natural, I guess, is, is the right. Um, but Spirit said, yes, you are on the path that you're meant to be on at this exact moment in your life. So, you know, you're you're doing the things that you're meant to be doing. Um, and you're um, divinely guided here. So, um, and sorry if I butcher anyone's names. <laughs> um, Robert Palacios. I'm going to guess. Sorry if I didn't get that right. He asked, will my leg go back to normal? Now, you know, I don't know exactly what happened and, you know, I don't need to know the specifics, but Spirit said, you know, while it may not go back to 100% normal, it will get better and be about 90% normal in about two years. And, you know, again, I'm not, you know, a medical professional <laughs> or, or anything, but, you know, and then again, you know, because we do have free will and things are always subject to change, you know, it's always important to keep that in mind as well. Um, Tanya Smith said, will the rut that we are in get better by the end of summer? And Spirit said, yes, about 50% better. However, there's still a little ways to go after that. And it's looking like that will um, play out in full around spring of 2024 so you know not too far ahead you know um it can feel like it <laughs> at times um let's see uh terry baker asked will i be offering groups in my home for parents and their newborns by this time next year now i'm not 100 percent sure you know what this is exactly but spirit said maybe you know it's definitely something that you want to do your research on you know etc you know you want to be knowledgeable you know make sure all your bases are covered and you know maybe even 
talk to people, reach out to people with experience in this area that can, you know, kind of, I guess, give you the rundown do's and don'ts, you know, maybe even a little more on the legal side of things, you know, make sure everything's up to code. Um, looking around summer 2025 there for that. So, um, oh yes, yay, at Kit Tarot, my girl. You know, I really appreciate everything that Kit does. She is an amazing, wonderful person, um, a wonderful reader, and I, I really admire her and look up to her. And she asked, when will I retire from my full-time job, not to row? And <laughs> Spirit gave, um, you know, going from full-time to part-time Gemini season 2024 with um, retiring fully Cancer season 2027. So, you know, definitely going to start slowing down um and you know i don't see the retiring from tarot for for quite a while so that that's definitely a good thing uh thank you kit so much um diane davis jackson asked will my finances get any better and spirit said yes june 2023 so um you know, uh, prosperous, prosperous time, um, coming up here, you know, just on the horizon, because here we are, we're in May at the very end, so, um, and then Tina Garcia, will I ever be able to move forward after the loss of my spouse, and whew, that's heavy, you guys, like, um, Spirit did say, you know, yes, eventually you will be able to, but, you know, don't put a time limit or let anyone else uh, put a time limit on your grief. You know, no one, no one knows the weight of it on your shoulders. Uh, no one, you know, was in your shoes and loved him the way that you loved him or, um, received the love from him in the way that you did so you know it's really it's personal you know and in some ways you know you may never stop grieving you just um you know learn to move on carry on you know um and like yeah, you know, just just don't put a time limit on it or let anyone else tell you, oh, you should be over it by now, you know, because it's really not for anyone else to say. So, you know, take your time with it and uh, give yourself space, you know, it is something else that's coming through there as well. So, um... You know, I was really blown away by all of the questions and um, the unique, you know, special and unique to um, each person. And I really love and appreciate it, you guys. And like I said, I would like to do this like once a month where, um, you know, you ask the questions and, you know, um, have an open heart, open mind, and open ears um, is something that... I'm hearing here from spirit and you know messages can come in like there are many different things here on the board um, even and you know like I said sometimes when I like I did with that and I, I sat and wrote your questions and then I would ask spirit to give me an answer and then um, I'd start to write and it would just flow out so you know that's one way Sometimes messages come through as songs. Um, I have had loved ones, you know, connect with me to, you know, confirm things. Um, and sometimes if their loved one's being stubborn, 
they send me their death pain and you know that can be <laughs> that can be uh, a shock to the system depending on how someone died um, and it, you know getting an insight into them and their personality you know what they choose to share is a beautiful wonderful amazing thing so um, I always appreciate everyone that, you know, lets me do a reading for them, that lets me connect, and, um, you know, it, it's, what would be mutually beneficial, mutually rewarding, um, and I enjoy it, you guys, you know, and, um, it all started with me being a toddler and telling my grandma I used to rock her when she was a baby and being able to, you know, explain places that I've never in this body ever, ever been to. So, um, you know, it can be a little bit of a trip. It, it used to scare her quite a bit, but... Um, she kind of got used to it over the years, and, um, it became a source of comfort, you know, um, being able to tell her things that only her mom would have known, so, um, but I come from a long line of gifted women through my mom's side, and that's something that, um, I'm extremely proud of as well, and, um, you know, if you ever, um, have questions and, you know, or would like to reach out, I do have, like, questions from the board are always a dollar a question that's always available. And then there are the spooky time sessions, and I can't remember off the top of my head, I know I have it wrote down somewhere <laughs> or put up you know on on my uh, websites and everything of you know the time frames and the uh, the cost and all of that and um, I am starting to sleep better I'm not asleep right now I struggle I didn't struggle to fall asleep but now I'm struggling to stay asleep so um, I am on the CPAP machine now. I got that last Tuesday, I believe, and it's really early Sunday morning now, but um, I am sleeping better, I've noticed. Um, I do have more energy, which is great. Um, I did notice, you know, my left side is the side that was affected by the stroke right side of my brain, left side of my body, and when I was folding clothes, like, my arm really started hurting, and I have to take lots of breaks, but, um, you know, I, I don't want to, like, push myself too hard where I'm not able to use it, but I also don't want to be like, oh, not gonna use, you know, be too, what is it, soft on myself either, so it's, it's trying to find a good balance, but, um, I have noticed, like, I am sleeping better for the most part, and getting oxygen to my brain is a wonderful thing, um, and I'll probably start seeing a neurologist soon, I'm looking forward to that, um, so I have my primary, I have a heart doctor, <laughs> I have a sleep doctor, and I'm about to have a neurologist. So, um, takes a lot to keep going. <laughs> but, um, I just wanted to say that I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. I'm very thankful, um, you know, for well wishes, and that you guys are calm and patient with me, because, you know, reading, reading cards sometimes, um, I can look at the card, and, you know, I'll know that I know, but then it's just, it's not there, and, um, it can be hard, <laughs> 
you know, sometimes when that happens. So, um, you know, I do have the little paper that I keep handy just in case I need to, um, give my brain a little bit, <laughs> little bit of help there. So, hope no one minds that, you know, I'm, I just, I do the best that I can, um, in the moment, you know, and, and that's all any of us can really do. So, um, like I said, I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. I want to say thank you, blessed be, namaste, and goodbye.